welcome to Art Books Tea with me, Courtney Bolin. I am doing episode six today and we're going to be going over Mindful Journaling by Tara Ward. Decaf tea options today and then I'm going to give you an overview of what's going on in my business right now. So let's get started. Mindful Journey Journaling by Tara Ward is something I sort of picked up um, at the same time as the book I did last week. I suffer from anxiety a lot. I have a tendency to go, go, go and never slow down and like <clears throat> all of that action and energy and constant moving can cause a lot of stress and anxiety in our bodies. There are tons of people that suffer from anxiety. So what I love about this is that it's a ton of little exercises. And if you can see that there with journaling options underneath it. Um, so what this does basically is if you are having a moment of anxiety or you just are like super fearful or you can't come down from, you know, that crazy, like can't breathe feeling, I do one or two of these and it's really good to do them when you have a quiet space. If you're in the middle of something crazy, kind of wait until you're done with that it really takes a minute to do this. So I'm gonna read you an excerpt from one of the ones that I did the other day that I really enjoyed. It's called Make Yourself a Drink. Before you sip it, cup your hands around the container. What is the temperature of the drink? How does that make you feel? What does it smell like? What do you think about the color? Take a small sip and hold it in your mouth before you swallow it. What does it taste like? Where in your mouth could you feel it? As you swallow, feel the liquid running down through your throat and into your body. How far can you feel it? If you repeat this exercise, you'll realize you can feel more of the drink's journey each time. Now that you have done this, record how the drink makes you feel. How satisfied do you feel from it? Is there anything you might enjoy more? Why? So I wrote, I did this one and I wrote a few sentences here. You don't have to fill up the whole page, but if you want to, please do. And what this does is slows you down. It makes you stop thinking about the future, which is where we get a lot of anxiety from. It makes you stop worrying about the past, which is where we get a lot of depression from. It keeps you in the now, in the present. And when you are more in the present, you are more calm and you enjoy life more. And this is how we should be living life every day, enjoying the moment, the, the calm, the feeling of relaxation. It's more of our natural state. It's supposed to be anyways, but a lot of us have a lot of other things that pull us in different directions. So anyways, I give this five out of five pickles because it is super helpful. It has really helped me calm my anxiety down. Um, it's helped me stay in the moment and it's, it's even helped with parenting and my relationships. Um, instead of being stressed out about those things, I now enjoy them a lot more. So definitely go get that. The Mindful Journaling by Tara Ward. I think she has one or two other ones. Um, so find the one that, that works for you. Moving on to decaf tea options. <clears throat> I have found that you uh, can't get a lot of decaf tea options from um, like going to the coffee shops you get like a lot of herbal or fruit teas. And for those of you who don't really love those so much, um, I wanted to give you some at home options for decaf tea. So decaf tea has um, a little bit of caffeine in it still. Um, but if you're somebody like me that can't handle a whole lot of that at one time, then it's really good to go decaf, trust me. <laughs> it makes me crazy. And by the way, if you have anxiety or depression, Drinking caffeine actually makes that worse. Um, sorry for all you coffee drinkers who really love that, but I do have an option for you coffee drinkers, so hold your horses. Um, Harney and Tea Sons has a really great tea called Paris. It is absolutely delicious. It has vanilla and caramel notes in it, but it's a black tea, and it also comes in decaf. Um, for those of you who wanna try something a little bit different than you know, just getting your decaf Earl Grey or decaf English breakfast from the grocery store, highly recommend it. It's absolutely delicious. They have great flavors in their teas. Um, they also have a bunch of other decaf options. Some of them are fruit, and, but there are quite a lot of black teas, um, which is what a lot of you know, coffee drinkers, if they're going to switch, 
they like the black tea flavor. It's it's not as herbally. Um, their other one for you coffee drinkers who really are looking to go decaf because the caffeine just makes you crazy, I highly recommend, and I am not affiliated with them, I just really love them, Ticino. I will put a um, me mention of them in my, in my comments. It has the chicory in their tea, like a lot of coffee um, <clears throat> does. It's delicious, it tastes like coffee, but it is tea and it is decaffeinated. They have a bunch of flavors, um, I just, I highly recommend it. It's called Ticino. There are tons of decaf options out there. Uh, remember that it is still a little bit caffeinated. So if you can't have caffeine at all, I highly recommend just drinking herbal. So we're gonna move on now to the art. So this is something that I've been growing big time over the last couple of years of my art business, business and just in the last year, even more so. So because of that, I've really been finding my way on what I want to do and uh, how I want to paint and how I want to conduct my business. And if it seems like I'm making new rules up every week, it's because I'm finding more stuff out about myself every week. Um, so what I am going to implement now into my art business, and I'm sorry for all of you out there who want small paintings, but I do not resonate with them. I do not enjoy doing them. I have to like force myself to sit down and paint constantly on small paintings and I hate it. Um, it doesn't make me happy. And I'm not doing things that don't make me happy anymore. Sorry. <laughs> so anyways, I am not painting anything under the size 16 by 20 anymore. Again, there are still some things for sale on my website that are under that size. I've already completed them and the tarot paintings I will keep doing, but I will not moving forward do any more small commissions. Um, the next thing is I am not going to, I am going to be giving myself a raise. I have to announce that so that it doesn't shock anybody. The way I price my art is roughly, just roughly a dollar per square inch of canvas. I say roughly because if I use um, extra things in my art or more expensive supplies or the subject matter that I am painting is more complex. I will um, kind of add on to the price a little bit more. So again, it is a very rough pricing scale. It works for me and then I can adjust it as I need. So now I'm going to be adding another dollar, two dollars per square inch of canvas. Um, if this frustrates people who have wanted some of my art and they are feeling that now it's going to be out of their price range, um, I need to address this because the way I feel about this is you get a raise every uh, six months or a year at the job that you work at. Um, this is all I am doing for myself. I deserve a raise, same as everybody else. I deserve to be able to pay for my bills and to put food on the table and provide for my family, buy diapers, all of that stuff that everybody else does with their job. I deserve to do the same thing doing what I'm doing. Um, my job is not a nine to five like everybody else's. It's not the norm, so people don't accept it as a real job. Um, what I have to say to you is if there was no art in the world, it would be an extremely boring place. Art is necessary, it is important, it brings beauty and wonder to the world. And um, what I do is important. I'm going to, moving forward, um, if you can no longer afford my art and that's a deterrent for you, then maybe we are not for each other. Um, if you like what I do, if you value it, then you will pay what I deserve. Um, because I, again, I deserve to live like everybody else. So. I am no longer going to make myself small to suit other people and I'm no longer going to pretend like I'm wrong for being put on this earth for who I am and the talents I have and, um, and what I'm supposed to be doing. I know this is what I'm supposed to be doing and I'm going to go for it. So. If any of this upsets you, then maybe we're not for each other again. If you feel empowered by this message and you wanna do the same thing for yourself, that makes me feel amazing and I really hope it does for you too. Um, 
I hope you stand in your truth, same as I'm going to do for myself. So thank you so much for listening this week. I appreciate you. I love you. All of you that watch my videos week to week, um, if you want to make sure you don't miss a video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Picklehead Pants.